Now we're going to take a look at removing the upper shaft on our 6260. We will remove it in case maybe the hand wheel is frozen and it's hard to turn, or maybe it got bent. So let's take a look at the upper shaft. So on the left hand side we have our counterweight. And that is the first item that we're going to have to remove. However, we have a collar, we have our timing gear, we have our black shield plate, and we can see the rear bushing as well, held in by the black plate. All these pieces have to be loosed in order to take them out. So the first piece we're going to focus on is the counterweight. On the counterweight, you can see that there is a pin on the top. You can use your 3mm hex driver because it is the same size and it acts as a perfect punch. You need to line it up perfectly. And don't slip. Make sure it's lined up really, really nice. And use your hammer. And you're going to hit down on it. Now hit hard. And what's going to happen is you're going to end up hitting that pin into the bottom casting. Now make sure you hit it really hard into there. You are not going to break the casting. Now that we hit that pin down, we can see that the counterweight is sort of frozen and we can't turn it. Since the pin is driven down, it is not enough room for the pin to come all the way out. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to line the machine up and we're going to focus on hitting the counterweight. Grab a nice big flathead and we're going to put it on the back part of the counterweight on an angle. And once again we're going to use the hammer and we're going to give it one good whack. This way we're going to spin the counterweight towards us which in effect takes the pin towards us as well. Now we can see the pin is free and we can move the counterweight. Now we need to remove that pin. Lay the machine down and we're going to support it and hold it tight and we're going to use our pliers and pull the pin out. Save that pin. Next we're going to follow the timing belt down and we can see that there is an either unit that puts pressure or tension against the belt. Just loosen the screw that holds the either unit to give some slack to the belt. Next, lay the machine down. And get the wires out of the way. And we have a black plate on both sides to cover the left bushing and the rear bushing. We also have our shield plate very important to loosen the shield plate. There's a two millimeter hex screw. If we don't loosen this and we start to remove the shaft, it very possibly could break into the sensor. So it's very important to loosen this. And once it's loosened, you can just leave it on the shaft. Next we have a collar towards the left hand side. This has two 2.5 hex screws. And these screws just, just need to be loosened. You do not have to take them all the way out. and we can see that the collar is nice and loose. Now we can remove the large Phillips head screws that hold those black plates to the casting of the machine. The screws and the black plates ready to pick up the upper shaft. However, we can see, still see that it's being held in by something, and we have a metal plate at the top, which goes over the top of our upper shaft timing gear. So we're going to remove one screw, and we're going to loosen the second one that holds it in, and remove the plate. You can see it has a nice guide that goes over the gear. Now we can replace the second screw back in, this way we don't lose it or forget about it. Now we can start to lift up on the upper shaft. We can turn it in a certain way, and you can see that we can take it out. However, you have to be very careful when doing this. Do not pull to the right too much because it is connected to our needle bar area. And if we start pulling, pushing, or anything on it, we could end up hurting or damaging the needle bar or our crank rod system. 
So hold the counterweight nice and tight and start to twist the upper shaft out. Slide the belt off and our upper shaft is free. Never bushing our collar and a little white collar which stuck to the counterweight and we'll put that back on the old shaft.